Hi, welcome to the Learning Centre. In this video, I will outline a strategy for collating your lecture material to make lecture summaries. The strategy is an adaptation of the Cornell method of note taking. This method of making lecture summaries is useful because it is a structured way to organise your lecture notes. It employs active learning to deepen your understanding of the subject content. It helps move knowledge from short term memory to long term memory. It helps you contextualise and critically evaluate your learning. It ensures you keep a record of references and links to help avoid plagiarism and it generates great study notes. The method uses a template that you can download from the Learning Centre and has four steps. Step one, prior to each lecture, preferably the day before, fill out the key information about the lecture at the top of the template. Fill out all the detail, including a mental jog reminder for the day. This will help you with your recall of the lecture at the end of semester. Then preview the lecture by viewing the lecture slides or other material that should be available on your LearnJCU subject site 24 hours before the lecture time. Lecture preview should involve scanning through the slides to identify the key topics or themes. List these as a hierarchical level of headers in the first column. Also identify any new terms. You may choose to list those these terms and their meanings in a separate glossary, perhaps at the back of your notebook. On the day of the lecture, attend or view the lecture and take notes in your notebook, as a Word document, on your computer, or by annotating lecture slides. These don't need to be particularly structured, but should follow the lecture flow. Later that day, complete column two by reviewing your lecture notes and synthesizing the content against the topics and themes you identified during the preview. You should flesh out all the necessary detail relevant to the topics. This may include definitions, descriptions, examples and explanations and interpretations. You may need to include explanatory diagrams and key equations depending on the discipline area. You should aim to use additional resources such as textbook chapters, readings and websites to clarify your understanding. As you add detail to column two, make sure you add any additional sources as references and links in column three. This will be useful during revision time when you need to revisit helpful resources. The way you arrange this information should suit your learning style. For example, you may align text against the topic headers, or you may choose to organize information by type, as suggested by the information boxes in the guide. It is likely the lecture detail will run over several pages, so just keep expanding this space as needed. Finally, when you have completed working through the lecture material, take five minutes to reflect on the big picture of the content you have just collated. Ask yourself how the themes of this lecture fit together with previous lectures, with your tutorials, with practicals, or even other subjects. What's the key message? Also, identify any areas of uncertainty you may have or unanswered questions. In your own words, write notes on these points in the space at the bottom of the template. You now have a comprehensive and organised document available for subject review. If you produce lecture summaries for every lecture, you can collate them either as hard copy printouts, perhaps in a display folder, or organised as digital versions on your computer. Using the process of preview, review, referencing and reflection to make your lecture summaries means you are actively and thoughtfully compiling and processing the content, helping with recognition, understanding and deeper learning. Don't forget to allocate preview and review times in your weekly planner, additional to lecture attendance. This will ensure you generate a complete set of lecture summaries as you progress through the semester. You will then be in an excellent position for exam revision. Download the template from the Learning Centre at this link.